We're getting a look at some grim numbers, the so-called worst-case scenario of what this pandemic could become if we don't pay attention to the warnings. KKLI's Christy Fajardo is live tonight in Hollywood with a look at this frightening report. Christy? Yes, Susie, according to the New York Times, at one point there was concern that more than half of Americans could get the coronavirus. But to be clear, those projections were made before what you see here. People started heeding the warnings. In fact, take a look at the Chinese theater over there. Ordinarily on a Friday night, it would be packed with tourists and with people in costume charging for photos, but not tonight. Closed schools, empty auditorium, canceled events. All necessary, according to a CDC model made a month ago and just obtained by the New York Times, of what could happen if people ignore the experts. Worst case scenario, between 160 million to 214 million Americans could be infected. The infection spreads for up to 18 months, with a death toll between 200,000 and 1.7 million people. The model uh, hopefully should not hold up because we have made many changes. Uh, one of the things is we moved from containment to mitigation. Dr. Suman Radhakrishna is the chair of infection prevention at Dignity Health California Hospital. She says what some call an overreaction is already saving lives. Closing schools, more hand washing, and social distancing can slow the spread of the disease and prevent huge numbers of people from getting sick all at once. Hopefully, everybody steps up to the plate. Everybody t makes those little changes in their lives, depend regardless of where they are. Um, we should be able to get a hold of it. But if we don't, it's a problem. Epidemiologists are following outbreaks in other countries to get hints as to what LA and the rest of the United States might face. Hospitals in Italy were overrun by patients. And the New York Times report said the CDC model showed this nation could face a similar fate, but Americans heeding warnings might already be improving the odds. And definitely much smaller crowds here tonight. We're seeing a lot of young people, not too many families, but definitely a lot fewer tourists than we're used to seeing. Live in Hollywood, Christy Fajardo, KCAL 9 News.